Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In today's video, I will show you how to set up automatic configuration backup with Google Drive on Opsins. If you think the tutorial is helpful at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get started. So first, you will need to have a Google account. If you already have a Gmail account, would mean that you already have a Google account. And then you would visit the developer console. The link for the tut tutorial is going to be down in the descriptions. All right, so after you log in and you're in a developer uh, console, it's going to look like this. Uh, first thing you need to do is create the new uh, project. So we're going to select create project. And we're going to enter the name for it. We're going to call it uh, Opsin Config Backup. And we're going to select uh, re So next, we're going to enable um, Google API. Let me zoom it in a little bit, make it easier for you to see. All right. And so from here, you're going to search for Google Try API. And you will select the Google Try API. All right. And you will select uh, Enable. All right, and next we're gonna create a service account. So you can search for a service account, and we're gonna select a service and account. All right, and you will select a create a service account. All right, and we then call it um, backup agent. All right, for service account description, we're going to call it Opsin Backup Agent. And once you've done that, you're going to select uh, Done. All right, next we're going to create a private key in a P12 format. So in order to do that, you will select uh, Actions and you will select um, manage key and from here you will select an uh, add key and we're going to create a new key and of course we're going to select the p12 key and you're going to select uh, re8 all right and you're going to download that key all right we're going to close it out and next you're going to create a google drive folder so we're going to head over to uh, Google Drive. All right, from here, we're going to select a new folder. And we're going to call it Opsin Backups. And we're going to select uh, re All right, and we're going to select uh, More Actions. And we select uh, Share. All right, from here, you're going to go back to uh, Backup uh, Agent or the Google uh, Cloud Console. And we would go back to uh, the detail. And this is the, the email that you're going to copy. And we're going to add that email into our Google Drive. And then you're going to select uh, Share. Make sure it's on uh, Editor. Okay, and we're going to open up uh, that folder we just created. So this is uh, the folder ID. You're going to need that to set it up in uh, Opsins. So next we're going to set it up in uh, Opsins. So you'll select. Uh... All right, so from the dashboard, you would navigate to system and you will select configurations and you will select backups. And from there, we're going to scroll down to uh, Google Drive and we're going to select Enable. And for the email address, that's going to be the Google ID in the Google Cloud Console. So I'm going to go back to Google Cloud Console and we're going to copy that uh, unique ID. Make sure that you copy just the number, not the space in front of it and not the space at the end of it. All right. And next, we're going to browse for the P12 key that we created and we downloaded earlier. 
and the folder ID this is going to be the Google Drive folder ID so I'm going to go back to Google Drive and we're going to copy that folder ID all right and also we're going to prefix the hot name to the backup file and for the password if you keep it blank it's not going to be um, the uh, config XML file not going to be encrypted however if you put the password it's going to be encrypted and you will need that password to restore the configurations so you can either use the uh, password manager to generate a password which is recommended too uh, if you create it just make sure that you remember the password that you created because you will need it in order to restore that configurations so when you've done that, you would select uh, Setup and Test Google Drive. And that's it. The backup successful. So now we're going to go to the Google Drive and check it. And as you see, it's um, successfully backed up the configurations. So by default, the system automatically uh, creating the backup uh, right after midnight. However, if you need more um, free one, you can uh, set them up by... Uh, creating the cron job uh, and again uh, this concluded today's video if you think the tutorial is helpful don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye